welcome back to more of Nick Plays Darksiders. Uh, so we're back in the Shadow Arena. Trying to do the protect those six guys for the third time. Hopefully this won't, I won't fail at this time. I don't know, uh, throughout the time limit. Okay, so I just have to let them survive the five minutes. This is now actually going to get hard with, with the... With those giant guys. Okay, so I am leveling up my scythe, which is great. And I think that actually leveled up my, or got me some more of the chaos meter. It's so like, beforehand, like watching in the last episode, um, like, I was looking at it, and, like, I did pretty well. It wasn't until... I don't even know when. There was... I was doing good until a certain time. I think it was, like, probably, like, three minutes in. And then that's when all of a sudden it's just like, Hey! Let's just have all your undead soldiers die. I mean, it's probably not the case, but there are certain enemies that will destroy them faster. A, not cool. It's gonna blow up. Honestly, him blowing up is not bad because that also damages. Ugh. It also damages his guys. Okay, there we go. Where is he? Come on. Come on. Again, not what I want to happen. But hey, that's what happens if you're in video games, I guess. You have to, well, okay, not really. You have to un you have to expect the unexpected, which is probably the Weirdest thing to say about video games. Because you never know what's going to happen, right? Unless it's a game that you've played multiple times. But even then, it's just like... Sometimes the AI work differently. Unless it's predetermined what the AI do, then... Well. And that's the other case. Okay, that's what I was not wanting to deal with. Come on. Okay, that's one that's one big guy. And of course I'm right beside the door where he's going the other one's gonna show up. So that's not good. Okay, it's not so much that it's not good, it's just Oh no, he showed up through a different door, okay. I should probably go deal with him like ASAP. Yeah, because he just destroyed one of my other guys. You gotta be kidding me! 
I was so close. I was doing so good. I got my chaos form two and, or I was at my chaos form and, let's try this again. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. Like this one's actually kind of tough at this point. Oh, and now I have no chaos meter. Oh, that's that's great. We're just gonna use my chaos eater for this. But I mean, it's a good way to get more more kills with the scythe. You know what? I'm probably just. I don't know. Like I want to just use. I don't know. It's it's. I have, I'm in such a dilemma, right? Because like I want to get the scythe maxed out. Because like as soon as I get the scythe maxed out, it's like okay, whatever. Uh, I mean, okay. Here's a spoiler. The reason I won't use Chaos Eaters because later in the game you get you do get a sword that is already maxed out. So it's like to me it's like it's not even worth it. It's like like how did I get my chaos already? I'm not gonna use it until those other guys show up, the big guys. Which should be any second now, to be honest. Actually, no, because I still have to get the upgraded, these upgraded uh, demons to show up. Oh, it's so weird because like you have undead, you have demons, and then you have the angels, and it's just like there's just so many different enemies to the point where it's just like I don't even know what I'm fighting anymore. I love the lore in this game. Like it's just great. I, I love, I love getting into the lore behind games because like there's just so much in that. I'm I'm very much into. Yeah, I'm very much into lore. Just waiting for that guy to show up. There he is. Ouch. To. I have to, or else I'm gonna die. No! Not again! I'm so close to doing this one. Uh, so 
This is gonna take way too long again. I almost had it. I had like a minute left on the timer. What I need to do is as soon as that first the fire fist demon, the big one, comes out, I need to I need to take him out with the chaos form. And I'm just thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking, actually. Like, I just need to defend these guys, that's the thing. And it's not until those guys come out where I actually have the issues. So, I'm gonna try this one more time. And if that's the case, and I don't pass it, then I'm gonna just... beat it off camera. Really? Oh, okay. I get more chaos energy with my sword. I gotta remember not to do any bee attacks, any of the bee assassinations. Okay, so we're actually just gonna use Chaos Eater for this. Because we saw I was getting more and more uh, Chaos Energy. I don't know if it's Chaos Energy. Whatever it's called. It's... I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. I just need to get it enough, which I mean, it probably wasn't a good idea to use at that point in time with those, with the explodey guy. <laughs> explodey guy. I mean, so far the upgraded, the upgraded demons haven't shown up yet, so that's okay. I'm so used to just pushing Y at this point, because I'm, I'm playing on Xbox, right? So I'm so used to just pushing the Y button, because that's my secondary weapon attack. So, in this case, it's the, uh, it's the, the scythe. Here it is. If I can get rid of at least one guy. There we go. I got rid of this one, and it looks like my chaos meter is just about full. Like, I still take damage in this form, it's just, I don't take as much damage. Which, honestly, I'm okay with. Now, the thing is, I don't know what other big, big demons are going to show up. I'm hoping those armored ones that we saw in Tiamat's castle aren't going to show up. Because if they do, then I am pooched.
I mean, I have 20 seconds left. Or if those, those lich enemies show up. Nice. And because I finished with five of six, that's good. Oh boy, okay. Always knew I had it in me. Yeah, right. You're the one who's saying, hey, the failure is a horseman's biggest thing, isn't it? I don't like you. Okay, we're going to end the episode there. Uh, so we're going to continue with the fourth and final one of these shadow arenas. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys want to be notified when that video goes up, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button and that notification bell. And while you guys are clicking on stuff, make sure you guys click on the links down in the description to follow me on social media and on Twitch. There you have it. So that's more Dark Siders for you. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're getting closer and closer. I think there's four or five dungeons. I don't remember. Something like that. There's like four or five dungeons. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We're going to find more. So there you have it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.